do the same thing. That's why we keep on getting hit with the same curse. Your grandma got hit with the curse. Her daughter get hit with the curse. Your son come up with the curse. Everybody getting hit with the curse. Cause ain't nobody telling you the truth. But I'ma tell you the truth. You get the blood off my head. Go ahead and read, bro. That's to the prophet. You got him going. Prophesize not unto us. Right thing. Uh -huh, so it's like the book says, you tell the prophets, prophesy not until it's right thing. What they tell the prophets to prophesy, bro? Speak unto us, smooth thing. So y'all tell them speak unto us, smooth thing. That ain't what we gon' do today, bro. We gon' come out here and let you know if you don't do what thus saith the Lord, vexation coming. Vexation coming. Go ahead and read. Prophesy deceit. And you know, get over there, get this. Side. Keep reading, bro. Get ye out of the way. Get over there, sir. Turn aside out of the panic. path. Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. That's right, y'all say get me out of the way, cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. So we come and get out of law according to the Lord. Y'all wanna hear. Y'all wanna hear that it's okay for you to celebrate Christmas. Y'all wanna hear that it's okay for you to celebrate Easter. Y'all wanna hear that it's okay for you to celebrate Thanksgiving. But what about the holy days that the Lord gave the children of Israel? You can't find Christmas in the Bible. You can't find Thanksgiving in the Bible. You can't find Fourth of July in the Bible. As a matter of fact, during the day of Fourth of July in 1776, we was coming off slave ships. So what you popping firecrackers for? Somebody answer that for me. And no way, no Muslim. I'm coming out this book. I can give you your history out this book. See, that's the thing. Y'all done sit up here and listen to these pastors, and these pastors ain't did nothing but rob. They ain't do nothing but rob you and fleece you. But it's time out for that. It's time for y'all to wake up, because this thing about to come to an end. They sit up here telling you the Lord coming and all this type of stuff. They have no idea what's going on. The president that's in the seat, he ain't your people. That's an African. African and Negroes are not the same people. The Africans had the Negroes in captivity over in Egypt. We are not the same people. We may look alike, but we're, we're, we're not the same people. Why you think when they come over here, the Africans treat you like you ain't nothing? Because they know according to the Bible, you the children of Israel. Go and read, bro. Right, bro. Now, I'll get over there and turn it this way. Israel, that's because Jesus signs this word this way. And, and trust in oppression okay. and purposes and stay thereon. Keep reading. Therefore, Tight. this iniquity Tight shall be to you up. as a breach ready to fall. That's right, so your sin going to be so far that as soon as that sin breach like a water breach, when that destruction comes, that's how the Lord going to send that destruction on us. Hold on one second. Zoom it out so it get out of there. Go ahead, read. Swelling out in a high wall, whose breaking coming suddenly at an instant. That's right, go ahead, read. And he shall break it as the breaking of the potter's vessel uh -huh. that is broken in pieces. That's right, go ahead. He shall not spare so that there shall not be found in the bursting of it a shirt to take fire from the hurt. All right, where you at, bro? You have 14? Drop that, give me Second Peter 2 and 1. Go to 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 1. I need to loosen it up. It's, and, and it's leaning down at the ground. I don't want it down like that. You need to let it down so you can adjust it. Uh -huh. You can do that. No, you have to take the handle. Tighten that side back up. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privately shall bring a damnable heresy. Read that again for the beginning, bro. But there were false prophets also among the people. Now this is Peter talking. This is Peter talking in his day. He was saying there's prophet, uh, false prophets among the people. So right now today, we got false prophets among this people. Go ahead and read. Even as there shall be false teachers among you. So right now today, you got false teachers among you. That's why they ain't telling you nothing. Why is it that your pastors riding around in jets and Bentleys and Lamborghinis and we poets all get out? Don't y'all ever think about that? Does that ever run across your mind? Why is it that they getting money and you ain't got no money? Sometimes you just gotta think about this type of stuff. Why is it that everybody from since you've been born that you know been giving their money to the pastor, yet still we still struggle. We still living in the ghetto. We still living in the project. You go downtown Atlanta, it look ridiculous. It look like the slum. Go downtown Florida, it look like the slum. Go down Miami, the slum. Everywhere we locate. But yet still, your past is getting rich off of you. You work seven days a week. You get a paycheck, and most of your paycheck go to the past. Because the same pastors that was deceiving back in Peter and Paul, they, they doing the same thing right now. But y'all ain't paying attention. The reason y'all ain't paying attention is because the Lord got y'all asleep. But it's time for y'all to wake up. Go and read, bro. Who probably shall bring a damnable heresy. Come on. 
even denying the Lord that bought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. That's what they do. They deny what the Lord say, uh, Lord say do. But they're going to bring swift destruction on Drop that, give me, uh, go to Proverbs 30 and verse 11. But see, that's the problem. Y'all understand what time we're in, brothers and sisters. Everybody been telling y'all the Lord coming back, the Lord coming back, and everybody done just got comfortable. Just a sad thing when it's okay for two men to sleep with each other. How is it okay for two men to sleep with each other? When the Lord gave a man a male part, he gave a female a female part, but yet and still y'all say, it's okay, as long as it don't bother me. I don't understand that. How is it okay for a man to put his penis in another duke shooter? That don't make no sense. But ain't nobody telling y'all nothing. The old people even agreeing with it. Oh, it's okay. Leave Susan and Mary alone. The book says be fruitful and multiply, not be fruitful and divide. A man's supposed to be with a woman. A woman's supposed to be with a man. Go and read what you got, man. There is a generation that curses their father. It's a generation that curses their father. Go ahead. And do not bless their mother. And do not bless their mother. This is the generation we're in right now. This is the generation curses their father. We do not bless our mother. We're a disrespectful generation. That's why we get shot down like it ain't nothing. Go ahead, read. There is a generation that are pure in their own. In your own eyes, we think everything is right. We don't got no guidance. Ain't nobody coming out. Where Hal Sharpton at? Where Hal Sharpton at? They ain't coming out here. They ain't coming out here to help y'all with nothing. What are all these preachers who say they care about y'all? But they gonna be, they gonna have the whole house spirit up tomorrow, getting y'all money. But yet still, you ain't gonna see them the rest of the, the other six days of the week. Cause they don't care nothing about you. Go ahead and read, bro. And yet it's not washed from their filth in it. Come on. There's a generation, oh, how lofty are their eyes. That's right. This generation we're in right now, we think we know everything. Can't nobody tell us nothing. We done took over all the sin. The Lord gave us the understanding. We supposed to be teaching all the other nations. But instead of us teaching all the nations, we say, you know what? We're going to put down the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and we're going to follow your God. We're going to follow the Jesus of this world. We're going to follow the Jesus of Christmas. We're going to follow the Jesus of Easter. We're going to follow the Jesus of Thanksgiving, but you can't find it in the book nowhere. This generation has gone completely back. But let me tell you something. Before the Lord get back, you're going to always send a warning. He's going to send a real watchman to court to the Bible. The real watchman looks just like me and this brother, and all them brothers sitting up there along that wall. That's how the Israelites look. They always look like that. They never turned white. They were always black. Peter was black. Paul was black. Jesus was black. And he was out here teaching this gospel to the nation, and that's y'all job. But they got you thinking you African-American. Africa is a continent. Tell me what part of Africa, if I tell you to go back, what part you going to? America came from Leo Scipio Africa, uh, 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 ben, Amerigo Vespucci. That's a white guy that put the map together for Christopher Columbus to take his voice throughout the world. So if you come from, or if you call yourself an American, then you must be Amerigo Vespucci's son or come out of his bloodline. This people is, ain't got no sense because we don't read. They say the, the best way to fool us is to do what? Put it in a book. Because they know we don't read books. Only books we read is what? Jet Magazine, Vibe Magazine, Source Magazine, King Magazine, Ebony. But anything that got to do with you living and getting out of your condition, well, we. But it's okay because the Lord the one who put that on us. Where you at, bro? Where you at? 14. Drop that, give me Amos in the left. Today is the Lord's uh, Sabbath day. Tomorrow is not the Sabbath day. The seventh day of the week, the Lord God commanded us to keep this throughout your generations until he returned. It wasn't no choice. It wasn't no if you feel like it. It wasn't no you can serve him any day or you can keep the Sabbath any day. That's a lie. If you keep a, if you keep the Sabbath every day, that means you're going to rest every day. That means you ain't going to work. Guess what? That means you ain't going to eat. Then eventually you're going to die. You got one day to keep the Sabbath day. That's on the seventh day of the week, which is Saturday according to the Gregorian calendar. Ain't no buying, ain't no selling, ain't no sex, ain't no out here partying on the Sabbath day. You're supposed to be in the Word of God learning your history so you can come out here and teach the nation. And that's the problem. Ain't nobody teaching these kids nothing. 
We teaching them how to twerk. We teaching them how to sell dope. Then you wonder why. Don't, don't cry to The first thing we do is, when somebody gets shot, all you do is hear the mama say, oh, my baby. But if she would have told them, this would have never happened. If the fathers teach their kids, they ain't got to worry about them on the corner selling dope. If the mothers teach their daughter, you ain't got to worry about her sleeping with every Tom, Dick, and Harry. If you teach your sons, you ain't got to worry about them having five and six different baby mothers. And us filling up the Mar Povis show. All the nations looking at us and laughing at us. And ain't nobody saying nothing. Not even your pastor saying anything. Because they don't care nothing about you. I don't know how many times they got to sound this alarm and tell you the pastors don't care. But if you can't see it by now, then you are completely blind. Go ahead, Reed. Go ahead, 11. Amos 3 and 11. Therefore, Amos 8, Amos 8, verse 11. Amos 8, Amos verse 11, come on. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God. So the book says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God. What's going to take place, bro? That I will send a famine in the land. That the Lord going to send a famine in the land. A famine of what? Not a famine of bread. Not a famine of bread. Come on. Nor a thirst for water. Nor a thirst for water. What kind of famine the Lord going to send? But I'm hearing the words of the Lord. But I'm hearing the words of the Lord. That's why when I come to tell you an Israelite according to the Bible, you say, man, I don't want to hear that. I'm a Christian. Christian is your faith. Israelite is your nationality, brothers and sisters. But the famine done hit this world, so guess what? Since the famine done hit, then the Israelites done fell asleep, then you done had the Gentiles come up and teach you a doctrine that had nothing to do with you. But it ain't their fault. It's our fault. When we get back on the job and start teaching our kids the truth according to the Bible, then we're going to come out of the situation. Until then, you're going to stay up on the back section. You're going to keep filling up the funeral home every Saturday. If you, if you had your kids in the house on Friday night when the sun went down, which is the Sabbath day, keeping the Lord's day, you ain't got to worry about them in the club on Friday night party. And after you leave the club, you get shot. The next Saturday, you bury them. Go ahead, read, bro. And they shall wander from sea to sea. And they're going to wander from sea to sea. And that's exactly what we're doing. We've been trying to get reparations forever, brothers and sisters. It ain't going to happen. The Chinese got reparations. The Japanese got reparations. Everybody who done went through something got reparations. But you, you ain't getting them because the Lord put this on you. Don't ask your grandma how long they've been trying to get reparations. I guarantee you, they've been telling you since they find out. They was free. They been trying to get paid in reparations. The Lord said, ain't nobody going to restore this people. The Vietnamese got reparations. The Japanese got reparations. But the children of Israel ain't getting no reparations. Go ahead, read, bro. And from the north, even to the east, come on. they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord. That's right, and that's what's happening, brother and sister. Y'all running to and fro, but you ain't finding the word. You're supposed to be getting the word out the book. Ain't nobody telling you according to the Bible that you are the Israelite. You're supposed to be out here teaching this gospel to all the sons of Adam. But we're sitting out here on these corners on the Lord's Sabbath day, and we wonder why we're going through all this. Go ahead, read, bro. And shall not find it. Go ahead. In that day uh -huh. shall the fair virgins and young men faint for thirst. That's right, and that's what's happening right now. We in this day, we faint for thirst. We going to get water, we ain't getting no water. We supposed to be getting fed the word of God, we ain't getting fed the word of God. So what are we doing? We just fighting for thirst. So we filling up the strip club. We filling up the corner. We filling up the, the, the prison. Because we ain't doing what the Lord say. Drop that gimme Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 16. That's the problem, brothers and sisters. Y'all got to be told because before the Lord returns, this alarm got to go forth. The Lord will always send the real man like he did back in the day. Ain't nothing changed. It's just that you don't know who you are according to the Bible. But our job is to come out here and make sure we sound this alarm. Whether they hear or forbear, it's up to y'all. But the blood going to be off our hand. Deuteronomy 28 6, then go ahead and read, bro. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with So the children. Lord told Moses to tell the children of Israel when he brought them out of Egypt, if you disobey what I say, I'm going to bring you into Egypt, which means house of bondage, again with ships. Come on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. So exactly that how he said we was going to captivity by ships, that's how we got here. Go ahead. Thou shalt see it no more again. You're not going to see the previous Egypt. I'm going to send you into a worldwide Egypt and scatter you everywhere. Go ahead. 
And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Come on. For bond men. For bond men. Go ahead. And bond woman. Go ahead. And no man shall buy it. And ain't nobody gonna free you. Drop that. Give me St. Luke 21 and 24. So ain't nobody gonna get you out of captivity. Y'all Israelites? Man, we, we Bible Christians. That's who we are. Y'all Israelites? No, we Bible Christians, bro. Bible. We follow the Bible. That's right. Give me St. Luke 21 and 24. Why y'all in fussing? Where ain't fussing, man? You sound like that. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword. This happened to the disciples when the disciples came to the Lord and asked him, What should be to your time? The time of your coming. And the end of the world, and the Lord was telling them that the children of Israel was going to go into captivity, and they was going to fall by the edge of the sword. But how long, brother? Going to be shall be led away captive into all nations. They shall be led away captive. Go ahead. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down. Come on. Of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. So he said we was going to be led away captive, and we're going to be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Oh, shut up. Sleep. 
record that on the spirit of deep sleep. Go ahead and read. And the vision of all is become unto you as the word of a book that is sealed. That's right. So when you take the, take the book to your pastor, it's like a vision that you take to him that has become sealed. What he say once you take it to him, bro? Which man deliver one so that is learned. Uh -huh, so if you take it to the one that's learned, what do you say? Saying, read this, I pray thee. So you say, read this, I pray thee. Why? Go ahead. And he said, and I cannot. He said, I cannot. Why? Because the Lord got him to sleep. That's why these brothers over here don't understand that they the children of the book. They rather have you breaking the law, statutes, and commandments and worshiping on Sunday, which is the day of the sun's God, which came into effect in Babylon. They don't even got enough sense to know that the earth is not rotated around the sun. The sun moves around the earth. They got to think you going off to heaven when you read our Father's prayer. What it say? Mm -hmm. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Where? On earth. But they telling you when you die, you going off to heaven. They get this out of the mouth of the dragon, which is Satan the devil. And they go to these theology schools when the Christ them never went to theology. Peter Paul never went. Why? Because he only gave it to the children of Israel. That was me and your forefathers. Now, just because you look this way, that don't make you better than nobody. But if you want to identify something, you have to find out how it looks. If you want to know where your house at, you got to know how your house looks, right? So how is it that when I tell you how the children of Israel look, I'm being racist, I'm preaching hate. That's that feminine spirit. Give me Isaiah 15 and 1, man. See, that's the thing. It's time for these men to stop being out here pumped. I used to be on the corner. I used to sell dope. So I can come out here to my own. I ain't scared to come out here to my y'all. I'm going to come out here and sound me along. It's time for y'all to get up. I just have to sit there What does it say, bro? Cry aloud. Spare not. So the book say cry aloud and spare not. Come on. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Go ahead. And show my people their transgression. And show my people their transgression. So why am I going to come out here and talk to you all sweet and nice? Your pastor may talk until you're sweet at night. You're still down on every night. You're still filling up the prison house. Christ tried to come to your night. You had him killed. Why well, I'm going to come out here and stroke your ego. I'm a man of the Lord. I ain't coming out here to do it. When you sound the alarm, that means destruction is coming. That means time is almost up. That don't make no sense. The Lord raised up men, but you still got men among the Gentiles. That still got that effeminate spirit on you. Go ahead, read, bro. And the house of Jacob, their sin. So it's our job to come out here, cry out loud, and spare not, and lift up our voice like a trumpet, and show the house of Jacob their transgression, and show you your sin. Sit down, Nicole. So you turn back to the most high. Y'all sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Where you at, bro? Go ahead, read. Yet they seek me daily. Yet they seek me daily. Come on. And delight to know my ways. Go ahead. As a nation that did righteousness uh -huh. and forsake not the ordinance of their God. Drop that give me down by 23 and 1. Let's jump on this path. Let's jump on this false path. All they want is your money. You got you, got you paying your time and you're still in debt. Yeah, it's okay for you to pay time if the gospel's gonna go out the right way. Not until the pastor pops. I used to be up on the world changes for seven years. You couldn't tell me nothing about prayer flow. Until the Lord opened up my eyes, he's a false prophet, just like the rest of these Sunday pastors that are around here. That's why they, that's why they come outside. They don't want us exposed in them. And we're going to expose them because that's our job as men of the Lord. It's sound it, sound the, uh, the gospel. Seven day to seven day of the week, bro. Friday, sundown, and Saturday, and Sunday. That is the true Sabbath according to the Bible. When Christ came in the flesh, that's what he was keeping. Matter of fact, Christ gave us the Sabbath day before we even came into existence. So when man come and tell you that the Sabbath day is not existing, man, that's the same spirit that jumped on Eve in the garden. When he told her, if you eat the fruit of the tree, you shall not surely die. But what the Lord tell her? The day you eat up, you shall surely die. Say, say, you ain't gonna die. You gonna be at God. But the Lord said, you day of you eat of it, you're going to die. What happened? They died that exact day. Because the days of the Lord is the day of the Not the ones that are dead. That's why no man ever lived to see a thousand. But dudes will live to see 960. Adam lived to see 930. Nobody ever lived to see a thousand. But the plan, brother, we were never supposed to die. We're supposed to live forever. Why you think when Christ came in the flesh, he died to give you what? Everlasting life. To give you that life back, that immortality back. You were never supposed to die, bro. Where you at, bro? 
They gonna walk in front of the Go ahead. Woe be unto the past. So the book says, woe be unto the past. Does that do what? That destroy and scatter the sheep of my past. That destroy and scatter the sheep of my past. Come on. Said the Lord. Said the Lord. Go ahead. Therefore, thus said the Lord God of Israel. Go ahead. Against the past that feed my people. Uh -huh, so the Lord said, against the past that destroy and feed my people. What's going to take place, bro? You have scattered my flock. You have scattered my flock. Go ahead. And driven them away. And driven them away. So they ain't telling you according to the Bible that you the Israelites according to the Bible. They got you thinking that you a Gentile. The Gentiles are Europeans and Caucasians. Caucasians are people we know as white people. Now they can get salvation also, but they got to come to us. Drop that demon John 4 and 22. So if they don't tell you who you are, you're going to pick up another nation and guess what? You're going to start serving their God. And that's what that happened, bro. But the Lord is now calling the men of Israel to get back up and start getting out of the God to all the sons of Adam. Not just us. We got to preach it to everybody. But the harvest is plenty, the labor is off you. So if we gonna preach the gospel, we gotta come out here to the hood and get these brothers up, excuse me, and let them know they gotta come help us preach to the nation. Can't just be us. They gotta be open. We gotta come out here so they can open to the word. Yeah. Stay right here, we don't say. Go ahead and read. He worship, he know not what. So like, the, like, like Jesus told the Samaritan woman when she, when, uh, when he was at the well, and she was saying, "Our fathers worship in this mountain." Christ said, "You worship, you know not what." What he say? We know what we, we worship. We worship. Come on. But salvation is of the Jews. But salvation is of the Jews. In other words, if you want to get salvation, you got to come to the Israelites. Daniel was a captain. Joseph was a captain. When Pharaoh had a dream, we had to go to. They had to go to Joseph, an Israelite. Look, just like the Egyptians. Daniel, when Nebuchadnezzar had a dream, boy, he had to go get it. He had to go get it. Daniel, the captain. If they want to know in this world how to get salvation, they got to come to what? Even when they get to the kingdom, when the father brings the kingdom on this earth, he said he's going to have the gates set up, and it's going to have the name of the square I'm trying to get. So he's going to come to us now, he's going to deal with the That ain't it, wait. I'm just telling you what it said on the Bible. I didn't write this. I just understand it. And people don't understand it, so they start making up stuff. What you got, man? John 4 and 22, right? All right, give me uh, uh, John uh, 6 and 44. Brother, say, why? What does the question matter about you, bro? Uh, your eyes, how you, how you, how your eyes look? Uh, John uh, 6 and 44, man, what is it? Oh, what what is it? John 6 and 44, what is it? No man can come to me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. No man can come to me. Go ahead. Except Except the Father which has sent me, draw him. That's how, bro. That's how your eyes are going to be open, man. The book says, no man can come to me except the Father which sent me, draw him. Go ahead. And I will raise him up at the last day. That's right. 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 That's how you, man. You come out here, man, with these words according to the Bible the right way, man. Not according to the Son of God, man. So none of them care about you. Those are mad murders. Because they trying to get every last one of y'all in the lake of fire. They know the lake of fire is here right now. They sit up there and make y'all say to somebody, they great the ground, just burn. They just bother you. It's a lie, man. They don't understand the book. It's the same time when the lake of fire is going to be here. But that's what Christ is saying. I can show you that out of the book. What you got, man? Over there, 62, what it say? After two days, Go ahead. will be revived. Let me do that again, brother. After two days, uh -huh. will he revive us? After two days, will he revive us? Revive us? Come on, that means your head is sleeping on it. He revive us. Go ahead. In the third day, in the third, in the third day, come on. He will raise us up. He will raise us up, Go ahead. And we shall live in his sight. We shall live in his sight, bro. So that's time to get up, man. This thing almost done. Don't take it in the back 24, man. Go ahead. And Jesus said unto them, uh -huh. 
see that all these things, verily I say unto you, there shall not be left here one stone upon another. Thank you. 
I know you're going to give it to me. <laughs> I'm 
Oh, and they make the, they, they get the man on the organ, he start playing the organ. Then the people in the church start shouting and stuff. Then when it's all said and done, ain't nobody learning nothing. You're supposed to go to church to get it. You're supposed to go to church to understand it. Right? Ain't nobody getting to understand it because it's a famine of the word. Right? The word is a famine, not a bread of water, but of the word. And if it's a famine among the Israelites, then all the nations ain't going to get fed. Because Israel is the priest. they supposed to be teaching the God. And we ain't teaching. We out here playing around, man. Worrying about what we gonna do tonight. Worrying about the next time we're gonna get out. Worrying about the next chick we're gonna see. Worrying about the next time I'm gonna get some weed. You know what I'm saying? But now it's time for us to wake up, man. Because our, now, our salvation is nearer than when we first believed. Man. Ain't no more of that, the Lord get ready to come back. If you wait 50, 60, 70 years, ain't nothing happening. No, man, this thing is getting close, man. Your yeah. salvation is nearer than when you believe, man. That God of this book is a true and living God, man. He broke the end of this thing from the beginning. But the people just don't understand. We understand what's going on. Because the Lord took the veil off our eyes. Because we sought out the truth, man. You understand? And our job is to come out here and give it to you. What you got, man? Thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath. So the book says, you turn away your foot from the Sabbath. In other words, turn away your own pleasures on the Sabbath. Go ahead with me. From doing thy pleasures on my holy day. What's up, day. bro? From doing your pleasures, from doing your pleasures on this holy day. Go ahead. And call the Sabbath of the light. And call the Sabbath day the light. Go ahead. The holy of the Lord. Uh-huh. Honorable. Go ahead. And shall honor him. And shall honor him. Come on. Not doing thy own way. Not doing your own way. Go ahead. Or finding thy own pleasure. Or finding your own pleasure. Go ahead. Nor speaking thy own word. Nor speaking your own word. So you can't be talking about the basketball game. Can't be talking about the football game. Can't be on the phone talking about how's your chick about what's gonna happen later on, once the sun go down, all that type of stuff. Can't be talking about, yeah, man, I worked all this week, but business went kind of good, you know what I'm saying? I can't wait to get that money next week. That's the day of the Lord. You need to be in that Bible. That's why we out here today on the Sabbath, dealing with the book, bringing it to you all. Right? You understand? Go ahead, read, bro. And we're gonna be going to work tomorrow on the first day of the week. Go ahead. Then shall thou delight thyself uh -huh. the Lord. So you just stop and delight yourself. Look forward to the seventh day. Look forward to that day of rest, man. That's the most joyous thing because you understand that the seventh day represents the day that Christ is going to get back on the earth. Set foot on this earth. Man. Where my house is going to be on the earth. Go ahead. And I will cause thee. Now, what are you going to do? To ride upon the high places of the earth. He's going to cause you to ride upon the high places of the earth. And feed thee with the heritage of Jacob, thy father. Blessed, but he's not only gonna feed us, he's gonna also feed us too. Go ahead with you. So the mouth feed of you, he feeds you with the word, bro. That's how your eyes gonna be open. You understand what I'm saying? So that's what he said, I'm gonna feed you with the heritage of Jacob. He gave Jacob the law statue of commandments. That was eternal life. If you got the law statue of commandments, you know what it, what it takes for you to get everlasting life. So he's gonna feed you with the heritage of Jacob take you, and give you the understanding and take that bill off you. So you will start seeing when you start keeping the Sabbath. It's going to start with the Sabbath. Yeah. Then all the other ones going to fall in line. But the Sabbath day, man, that's the hardest thing for people to break. Because they used to doing it on Sunday. You start doing it on, on, on the Sabbath day, they're going to start, oh, what you never do? Y'all already done Are you seven day finished? No. We're just doing what the book says. The book says keep the Sabbath. We Bible Christian. That's the matter to Israel. But according to the Bible, my faith is I'm a Bible Christian. Why I say Bible Christian? Because I do what the Bible says do. I don't do what Roman Christians say do. Yeah. Roman Christians give you Sunday. Roman Christians don't follow this book. The Pope, yes. All that comes from Pop. That's what Pope is short for. Pop. All that comes from. Pop. You understand? Go ahead, read, bro. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Uh huh. Go. That's it. That's it? Yeah. Drop that, give me uh, Isaiah 56. Bro, come on this side, up. Bring it up. You all right? Is it, is it recording? I just want to make sure, you know, you get that place on the ground. Isaiah 56. One second. Thus said the Lord, uh -huh. keep ye judgment. Go ahead. And do justice. So he's talking about the Sabbath. He said, thus said the Lord, keep ye judgment. Go ahead. For my salvation is near to come. My salvation is near to come. Come on. My righteousness to be revealed. And my righteousness to be revealed. You got to read up because you got other people that's going to get that by the word. Okay, okay. okay. Right, Blessed is the man that doeth this. Blessed is the man that doeth this. Come on. He and the son of man that lays hold on it. Blessed is the man that doeth this. This includes all mankind. Everybody. All right? Go ahead. That keepeth the Sabbath. That keep the Sabbath. Go ahead. From polluting it. From polluting it. Go ahead. And keepeth his hand from doing any evil. And keep your hand from doing any evil. Go ahead. 
neither let the son of the stranger that has joined himself to the Lord. He didn't let the son of the stranger that has joined himself to the Lord. These are other nations. These are nations that didn't have the law statutes and commandments. So the Bible considered them strangers. So the book is saying, neither let the son of the, of the stranger that have joined himself to the Lord or decided to come up under the commonwealth of Israel and do what the Lord told them to do. He said, neither let them say what, brother Mark? Speak, saying, uh -huh. the Lord has utterly separated me from this, from his people. Right, so when you come into the truth, you get understanding, you are not supposed to make other nations feel like they can't get this done. It's supposed to make them feel welcome too, man. Yeah. Go ahead, read. Neither let the eunuch say, uh -huh. Behold, I am a dry tree. That's right. That's a tree that don't produce. So neither let that eunuch say, I'm a dry tree. Come on. For thus said the Lord uh -huh. unto the eunuch, Go ahead. that keep my Sabbath. For thus said the Lord to the eunuch or the other nations that keep my Sabbath. Come on. And choose the things that please me. Uh -huh. And take hold of my covenant. Go ahead. Even unto them will I give in my in my house Go ahead. and within my wall uh -huh. a place and a name better than dope, better than of sons and of daughters. That's right. So even the other nations that keeping the law that we command, he gonna give them a name better than the sons and daughters. So that's the reward that ended this thing, man. You getting that name, but you taking on that name of Israel. You getting adopted into the family. Israel, we got adopted first. Yeah. Okay? But we still haven't become like God yet. We haven't become God kind of We're still trying to get there. When you become a God, you will never see that. Until then, you still fresh enough. That's what becomes a God. You ain't never seen that. Give me John 8.51. So until then, you still a man. That's why the book says Psalm 82 and 6. I have said, ye are God. But you shall die like ye and fall like one of the priests. So we were supposed to live forever, man. But once you get the Sabbath, man, you start keeping lost that people, man. Sit down. Sit on the head, brother. You start keeping lost that people, man. Then you put your name on it. That's everlasting. That's the one, he's one of the ones that's going to make it. They ain't got to ever worry about dying again, man. And that's the whole thing, man. People say they're going to die and they're not going to get up and have to to the Lord, man. You know, you're up, it, it just, it, it just depends on when you're going to get up. He's going to get up on the first person, the second person. Take the day. But you're getting up, brother, because men are not supposed to die. You're never supposed to die. This is just a speed bump, brother. Yeah. What you got, man? John 8 and 51. John 8 and 51. One second. <laughs> Verily, verily, I say unto you, uh -huh. if a man keep my sayings, so the book says, verily, verily, I say unto you, if a man keep my sayings, go ahead. He shall never see death. He shall what? Never see death. He shall never see death. We're not talking about the physical death, because we understand according to the scripture, it's the point of a man to die works. Every man to die works. What are you talking about? That means you think you're immortal body. The spirit is immortal. That's why when Christ came up from the grave, he was able to talk through the walls before the disciples. Because he had to know the spirit form at that time. You understand what I'm saying? And that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to take on that spiritual way. You still don't have hands and feet and all that type of stuff. You just won't be able to die. It's just the form of a body. Which is the spiritual body, or you got the flesh body. The flesh and blood don't die, the spirit don't die. It's that simple. So where the spirit? Say it again? Spirit. Where the spirit? Where the spirit gonna be here when you die? When you die, where the spirit gonna be? No, your soul gonna be, your soul gonna be, you got three different types of spirits. Right? You got the angels, which are Holy Spirit. Okay, that's all they are. The, the spirits or the angels or ghosts or whatever, but the Holy Spirit. And then you got the breath of life. That's another spirit. So when you die, that breath goes up back to where it came from. But as far as your soul, you are the soul, brother. You are the soul. There's no other man inside this that's another soul. Okay? Give me Le uh, Leviticus 21 and 5. That's why Job said the spirit of God is in my nostrils. He's talking about the breath of life. That's the spirit. Okay? Let me show you something. Leviticus 21 and 5. Leviticus 21 and 5. 23 and 5. 25. No, uh, is it 23? It might be 25. So it might be 23. Yeah, we have, 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 we 
Come out with some knowledge and understanding. Uh, first, they want to, first thing they want to say, y'all Muslim? No. That was something that was made about the Roman Catholic Church. They made that up too. Matter of fact, one of the reasons we went into captivity because we were serving another God. The Lord said we were going to worship God the real stuff. So that's why you got our brothers trying to get over the method to get that rock. They just don't understand it. The curses the Lord, the Lord got on us, man. This book is real, man. But everybody that took the book, and they changed it up, man. They didn't change it because they can't understand it. So that's yeah, every, why they. Everybody. No. no, no, no. So what? So, the best one to get is the first one. Well, you ain't the problem. But get a king down. Oh, nah. Get a king down. Nah. 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 Awesome. Man, might be fine. They all for real, man. They got like 20, from what I count, like 20 scriptures out of this. You know what I'm saying? But it ain't nothing to do with order, but that's why I'm talking to you. I got it. So, the video gets fired. I'm sorry. Is there any part of the Bible? So, 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 Book of Enoch, man, I really, I really don't know too much about Enoch because they say a lot of they say a lot of things about the angels slept with women and all this kind of stuff. And uh, according to the Bible, when the Bible first came in the flesh, the Lord told them that that ain't the The Son of God was not talking about angels. The Son of God was talking about men. I'm going to prove that to you, man. All right, you want to see it? All right, before we see it, let's go to uh, what's the name? Uh, Leviticus 5. 5 or 1. What is that? And if a soul sin, you hear the voice of swearing, uh -huh. and is a witness. So first off, what you gotta understand, the book says if a soul sin, you hear the voice of swearing, my soul gonna hear it. It's in a you see what I'm saying? Go ahead and read. And is a witness, uh -huh. whether he has seen or known of it. Oh, so a soul can so a soul can witness that? Or see? Go ahead. If he do not, if he do not utter it, uh -huh. then he shall bear his iniquity. Uh, so now a soul is a heat. Because it's not some holy spirit, man. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Go ahead with it. Or if a soul touch any unclean oh, thing. Oh, so now a soul can touch something. So the book says if a soul touch any unclean thing. Go ahead with it. Whether it be a carcass uh -huh. of a clean, unclean beast. Whether it be a carcass of unclean beast. Go ahead. Or a carcass of unclean cattle. Go ahead. Or the carcass of unclean creeping things, uh -huh. and if it be hidden from him, uh -huh. he also shall be unclean and guilty. That's right. So now we're talking about the soul. The soul is the thing. That's why if the soul hear anything, or see anything, or touch anything, if it's just some old spirit that's running around, then why would it? Why would it put him under? Okay. Yeah. Well, let's go to Genesis right here. Genesis chapter three. So those were the things that. Were right. Well, that's that's in the last law, but he's letting you know. I'm the point of going here to show you. The soul, the soul is actually, you the soul, right? You the soul, right? You are the soul. They tell you it's three different parts, it's not true. All right, all right? Go to Genesis, what? Uh, three, 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 uh, brother life, man, we can't get it. Three parts. Genesis 3. What is it saying, Genesis? 1 and 1? Uh, uh, Greetings to the light too. Like a man became a living son. 2 and 7. 
Right, what is that? Lord God for a man of the dust. Uh -huh. And of the ground. All right, so this is one of the questions when man was created. Go ahead. He said, Lord God, for a man in the dust of God, and breathe and did what? And breathe into his nostrils. Breathe into his nostrils. What took place? In the breath of life. Uh huh. And man became a living soul. So before he was a living soul, what was it? A dead soul. So when he breathed in him, then man became a living soul. So when you die, brother, the only thing that takes place, you still a soul. You still, you're going to go back to being a dead soul. Only thing is, he just going to take that breath that he did. That's it. That's it. All right, so the next question you have is what? He said, now, was something else. I said I was going to deal with it. Soul, and then you said, uh... Did you say anything? What did you say? You said I was going to deal with it. It was something you said. Well, what else you got? We'll, we'll, we'll bring it up. We'll, we'll come back to you. Well, yeah, your soul. You die, man. You die, you go back to the dirt like a bitch. You ain't going up to heaven and, and sitting up there with angels. That's that's a lie. Wow. Because the kingdom is gonna be on this earth. The book the Lord told Adam and Eve the day you get the tree, this shit have died. So when they died at when Adam died at 9 30, we never lived to see it die. So he died that same day. Now he gets straight to the book. Dust thou art, dust thou shall return. Now what did uh, Satan tell Eve? He told Eve that you eat of the tree, you should not surely die. So this is how you can tell what Satan's spirit is, or his voice is. All you got to do is go to a funeral, and if the pastor say, Sister Brown right here, that ain't Sister Brown. That's just her shell of her body, her soul, her spirit, and went off to heaven, then you know who followed Satan. Because Christ said, or the book say, from dust thou art, dust thou shall return. He didn't say you was going back up. Okay? The same people that's telling you, that you're going to go back to heaven, these are the same people that have eaten the food of lies that Eve ate of in the garden. That's all she ate. It wasn't the apple. It wasn't the fruit. It, was the, it wasn't the fruit like the physical fruit. It was the fruit of lies. All it was was conversation. That's why when God came in the garden, which we know as Christ, because Christ was in the beginning. That's why I say, let us make man. People don't know. Okay? But when Christ came in the garden, he said, uh, Adam, Adam and Eve hit him. Say, he said, why are you? You know, why'd you hide yourself? He said, because I knew that I was late. He said, how you knew you was late? He said, he said, uh, he said, who told you you was late? So in other words, somebody told him he had a conversation. You understand what I'm saying? That's what it was. So every time you gotta watch the kind of who you're dealing with, when they telling you ain't gotta keep yourself. When you ain't when they telling you ain't gotta keep it holy, watch the conversation. Watch where it's coming from. Because you got a table of devils, and you got the table of the most high God ain't come out with you. And you gotta find out which one you eat. Okay. Alright, you got anything, bro? You got anything? Got a question? No, no, no. You good? No, I'm good, yeah. yeah. Alright. Talk about what you're saying. Yeah. Praise the Lord. That's it. We ain't gonna come out here, man, and come out here to just defeat y'all, man. You gotta come out here, man, and sound the alarm, man. Let y'all know, man. It's time to y'all to turn it back. One of the things you gotta do, man, you, should, you gotta start keeping yourself. Yeah. That's the first thing, man. Abi, Abi gave them commandments. The first four was telling us how we supposed to deal with him. Right after that, man, then he gave us a second. He told you to keep the Sabbath day, man, as a perpetual covenant in all your dwellings. So in Israel, we scattered everywhere. No matter where we scattered at, we supposed to keep the Sabbath. We supposed to be in this word of God. From sun up, I mean from sundown Friday evening to sundown Saturday. We supposed to keep the Sabbath day, man. I come say supposed to be in this book, man. We supposed to be out here among the lost children of Israel, bringing the gospel. So from Friday Sunday. Friday Sunday. Friday, 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 Okay. Oh, good job. Oh. You want to start
So that same tree that's sitting up here telling people you ain't got to keep the Sabbath day is the same tree that was in the midst of the garden. The same tree that's making people think it's okay to keep Easter, Easter Christmas, Thanksgiving, and all these pagan holidays is that same tree that was sitting in the midst of the garden during the time of Adam and Eve. We need to see the whole world. So who are you, sir? My name is Nathan. Since how you doing? I'm doing <laughs> so you um uh, Christian? Bible Christian, yes, okay. It's a difference now. Bible Christian, Roman Christian. What's the difference between the Bible Christian? Roman Christian gave you Sunday. Roman Christian gave you Sunday worship. Okay. Bible Christian, the Lord said he's the Sabbath day as a perpetual covenant until he returned. All those witnesses. Sunday Christian, Roman Christian say when Christ died, that law was nailed to the cross. But Peter and Paul, the Aroma Christian tell you, like, I died, that's that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. So what's going on right here? Oh, they're just showing you some of the things that's happening. Okay, he On, uh, over, overseas. You know, all the different things that happen to them little babies, man. All that stuff they dropping on them. I just left the mold. I work on that. Yeah, man. That's a lot of stuff. They're using some of the effects that's happening. It was hard for me to do. But yeah, we do it the Bible We don't eat swine. We don't eat shrimp. We don't eat scallop. We don't eat pig. We don't eat scallop. You know the little scallops? It's like, it's like the little oysters. Because he said scales and fins. If it ain't got scales and fins, he said can't. Well, it's not like that. No, it's a bit. That's it. The bitties. That's it. Contrary. 
Exodus, he gave us the 10 Royals. Hi, yeah, I got my glass. Right here? Daddy. This Daddy. Yeah. This is that's us in the bottom of the place. Oh, okay. See right here? You see right there in Deuteronomy 28, 6, that? See that right there? The Lord was talking to us. He said, the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Egypt means house of bondage. This is, the, this is Moses when he was dealing with the children of Israel when we came out of previous Egypt. He went before the children of Israel like the Lord told them. And he told him to tell them, if you do what I say, I'm going to bless you. If you don't do what I say, I'm going to curse you. So these are one of the curses, one of the major curses to identify the children, identify the children of Israel. What he said was, the Lord shall bring them to Egypt again with the ships. By the way, where I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Meaning you're not going to see the previous Egypt. Then he said, and there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bond and bond with them. No man should buy you, meaning no man should free you. That was us being sold in the We the ones that got scattered throughout the whole hemisphere. He said, I'm going to scatter you throughout all four corners of the earth. That was us, not Africans. Because we was in captivity to the Egyptians. The Pharaoh, remember the Pharaoh had the children of Israel in captivity? You don't remember? Next is. No, we did that earlier. Say pull out this book, right? This is book. I got a slew. He said Samaritan. Yeah. I even pull out that last two million years too. Uh -huh. Because Shem, because because because, because, the, because the seed of Shem was right there with the Samaritan as well. But the Samaritan was the first group. No, nah, we was the neighbors right across the way now. Hold on, hold on. Don't I say pull out. Okay, 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 okay. We we'll get a history yeah, book. We was, hold on. You got the last two million years, right? We're gonna be in Okay. I think they went back over there in the park. Yeah, I ain't even got I got mine. I got mine. I think I brought it with me. I definitely got I definitely got Babylon Timbo too. Alright, brother. So what's this right here? Okay. What's that? That's Joe or something. Yeah, he's a joke. He ain't he's African. He's African. He's not African. He's African. He's African. He's African. And all he's doing is working for the Gentiles. Who is he? That's Barack Obama. That's your president. That's your president. Who are you voting for? That's your God. My God. That's your God, ain't it? I want everybody to say they got this on. Yes, we can. T-shirts. Well, there are many gods. Which kind of gods you talking about? I'm saying, is that y'all working for man? Y'all think he gonna say it? I'm working for no man. No man can Yeah, he ain't gonna say it. Well, he's gonna say the black people. That's what they say. That's what they put. Before he was put in seat. Before he was put in seat. He was gonna say the black man or the black woman. Seat. Seat. All right. So president. Oh, okay. Say that. Yeah. Seat. Seat. Now what she said was so. So. Samaritan was the first group of people. I think I left it at that. Oh. And and Babylon ten but two at that. And that was the first night. No. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. No. Isaiah twenty eight. Isaiah twenty eight verse ten. Let's deal with the language now. Now. Isaiah was after that. This is before. So, so now, now. I'm talking about before but, all this translation. All right, I understand. Before it. the group of people I understand. got together, and I understand. Out what but understand they why? And what, what, what they wanted to put in the Bible? Okay. So they took out things and put what they wanted in the Bible. They took. They left a lot of things they, out of the Bible. Okay. All right. So we're gonna deal with that too. Now don't forget. Deal with this, uh, I said we're gonna first. deal with that too. I don't have time for all that. What's the name of that Bible? Teach what we gonna King James. James. No, you got you read. Oh, no, I got a dictionary. Dictionary. I want to see something. Cause you, Let me cause, see that dictionary. You, you say what? So you, so Zondervan. What does that mean? That's just the name. Yes, no, the name. Yeah, it means, so what does that word well, mean? Well, when you get home, this is what Because we got to edify the book. Yeah, oh, you, yeah, I'll go ahead. Um, no, but, 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 but I want to ask you something. Oh, okay. Are uh, African and the same people? According to your understanding. You did history, right? Yeah. Okay, so are we the same people? Okay, now let me just read something to you that comes from the oh, Gentiles. Okay. okay, I heard you talking to him and God created everyone. I'm not saying that, but I'm but saying everybody has happened. a nationality, right? No. No. Okay, all right, everybody don't have a nationality. No. So when you everybody go to a nation. Could, well, now they do. Okay. But baby, right. we everybody talking came about out of Adam and Eve. You know I'm 32 and 8. No, 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 no. You don't need Hold to be We're talking about the beginning. Don't y'all read the Bible that y'all show? I don't go to church. Oh, okay. You just went out. Church. Okay, you, you ain't wrong. I don't go to you ain't church. Wrong, they they fought. They liked. Church. Now, this right here says the youngest son of Noah, right? You probably know Noah. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Okay, so we're uh -huh. going to see. 
We're gonna see what Ham, the youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood, and one of eight persons to live through the flood. He became the progenitor of the dark races, not the Negroes, but the father. Father. But the Egyptians, Ethiopians, Libyans, and Canaanites. So he was the father of all these dark nations, but us. So how are the Africans and Negroes the same thing? Okay. And this comes from a, uh, this comes from a man. I need to get this word straight. You say the father of what now? Read it to me again. Okay. You said that word means. He said, he said he became the progenitor of the dark races. Okay, the dark races. Not the Negroes. Wait, but, wait, wait, wait. The not, dark, look, dark races. Not the Negroes. Not the Negroes. See, that's no. Read as we go along. I can't see that, Pa. I'm old. Not the Negroes, but the Egyptians. Ethiopians, Libyans, and Canaanites. And Those they are all black. Even them living with Canaanites ain't black? No, I just no, know. No, they're not black now because the Arabs came into the land and took the land. Well, and they've been replaced, but the original are black. Okay. Yeah. Right. We was also, we the one built those pyramids, sir. We built that for Pharaoh. We we built Python and Ramses and stuff. That was our forefathers. That oh, was not. Genesis 6 and 6. What about it? Let's go to it. She said, don't read the Bible. She said, let's go to him. Genesis 6 and 6? Oh, man, I'll tell you it down. I got it. Don't worry about it. You got like a... Let me see that Bible. What does Isaiah 28 11 say? What does Isaiah 28 11 say? She says about the language. They say we did the field. How did we do the field? I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you right now. 28 and 11. Let's see what she's saying. 28, 28 what it say? Well, what stamina lives, what now? Well, this is Christ lives. talking about how he's going to deal with the Israelites because he knew we were going to the captivity. So what he say? We're going to deal with the stammering lips. Well, with the stammering lips. Well, with stammering lips, come on. Another tongue. And another tongue. Will I speak to this oh, people? Will I speak like to this people? people at IDMR. You ever heard of them? No, I haven't seen them So Genesis 6 and 6. And it repented the Lord that he made man on earth, and they grieved him at his heart. Right. Keep going. Genesis 6 and 6. We got Exodus 1 and 7. And it came to pass, and he began to multiply on the face of the earth, and the daughters were born unto them. Mm -hmm. That the sons, the sons of God mm -hmm. saw that the daughters of the men, of, of men, that they were fair. So you're trying to say the man? And they say, and wait a minute, and they took them wives okay. of all which they chose. And the Lord said, My son should not always strive with man, for that he also. It's flesh, yet his days shall be a hundred. Okay, there were giants in the earth in those days, and also at you got my and, and what was that? In those days, and also after that, when the sons of God came unto the daughters of men, they bare children to them, and said, they became mighty men of old. Mighty, 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 mighty men, which were old men of renown. All right. Okay. So what you got to say? Now, who are the, the sons angels? of God? Can I ask you? you sure According can. to the Bible, let's go to Luke three. No, what you got right here? Oh, All right, first, first we're going to deal with the what's the name. First we're going to deal with the what? To the law and to the testimony. Let's speak now to both of them because they're enlightened. And so you got to deal with both. Christ is in the Old Testament. So, and he came in the flesh of the New Testament. Well, he was also on her back in the book of Exodus. He came down to those people. Yeah, that was Christ. As, but as before we jump, we got to deal with you. We got to deal with first. We gotta, know, first I'm thing we got to deal with, we got to get the giant. No, we got to get to the light. We gotta, no, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I'm saying say what you just read. Let's, let's do oh, what you just okay. read. What you just read, boy, you just said, according to what you read, it implies that angels slept with mankind. Women, or man, uh, hold on, let me, let me talk. Man is a species, male and female is the kind of species, okay? So, when you, when I say mankind, and you say angels slept with the women, right? I didn't say it. That's what you're implying, right? I, did I say that? I'm what not you, implying that, that. I asked you, who are the sons of okay, God? Okay, I'm going to let you, I'm going okay, to hit both of them. I'm going to hit the sons of God, and I'm going to hit, and I'm going to hit if angels can sleep with men. So, what so you got? Spirits. Hold on, but, oh, okay. So, you just, so, you said so that for this brother, for Did he not say that? Did I say they were angels? I no, said, but, my no. question was, on, but, who yeah. are the sons yeah. of God? Right, who that are the sons of God? You want to know who the sons of God? Okay, stay angels. right there. Stay right there. Did hey, I? Hey, don't forget about the angels, because. Did I say anything no, about angels? You did, you did. You did. No, I did. No, 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 we ain't gonna deal with it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. Hey, hey, bro. Hey, bro. hey, 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 order, bro. I don't know. Hold on. Let me deal with this. Let me deal with the system. Let me deal with you. I'm gonna answer your question about who are the sons of God. Now, let me answer it right now. Luke 3 and 23. Now, we finna go through the heritage when Christ came, right? And we're gonna go down to the, uh, through the lineage. We're not gonna go through the whole thing. We're gonna skip around just so we can get it for you, dip. 
36, which was the son of Canaan, which was the son of Alphoxai, which was the son of Sim, which was the son of Noah, which was the son of Lamech, which was the son of Methuselah, which was the son of Enoch, which was the son of Jared, which was the son of Malil, which was the son of Canaan, which was the son of Enos, which was the son of Seth, which was the son of Adam, which was the son of God. These are the sons of God. Exactly. That's why he, exactly. It was not angels. It was man who slept with sons of God. No. I just read it to people. you. I just read it's it was. Not, no, it was them people. Okay, all right. What people? They, say, they were men. They were sons of God. Notice he didn't name Cain in there. Because he cut Cain off. Hey, where did you read that at with the history about you, you said um, the Samaritan? I read it. Uh, I got Samaritan. it out of those. Now, you need to know if Angel slept with man. You probably heard it before me. Because the Samaritans, their neighbors was the Shem. I, I don't know who they neighbors were. I, I got so, it out of the. That's the first five books I've got. And, um, I got it out of, um, um, hey, bro. It's called the Lost Chapters of, um, the Bible. They found it in the Bible. Right, it's closed. Yeah. Okay. But they have another name. Well, he just said, with the Stamination another time when I speak this speech. And he was talking about this because he was going to get scared. So, whatever nation you're in, that's the language you speak. They got a Bible in that language wherever you at. But I want to hit you with something before you leave. Okay. Now, now, this is Christ talking to the Pharisees. They came up and asked him. They was trying to be smart. All right. So, 23, this is what they said Matthew 22 and 23. Just so you don't run. I'm going to do that anyway. All right, hold on. It, it say, quick, it say when they heard these words, they marveled and left him and went their way. The same day came to him the Sadducees which say that there's no resurrection and asked him. So clearly we see they don't believe in the resurrection. So they're trying to really get at him. Saying, Master, Moses said if a man die having no children, his brother should marry his wife and raise up seed unto his brother. Now there were with us seven, now there were with us seven brethren, and the first when he had married a wife deceased, and having no issue, left his wife unto his brother. Likewise, the second also, and the third unto the seventh. And last of all, the woman died also. Therefore, in the resurrection, whose wife shall she be of Nobody. the seventh? For, hold on, for they all had her. Let me brother understand that. For they all had her. Jesus answered and said unto them, You do err not knowing the scripture, nor the power of God. For in the resurrection, neither they neither marry, nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels of God in heaven. Angels don't have sex, bro. That's why he said you do err not knowing the scriptures because angels can't sleep with man. It's every seed, it's every seed after its own kind. The angel is a spirit. Man is flesh and blood. They can't sleep with man. So we the ones built the pyramid. The sons of God, they were already dead. When the children of Israel came along, we the one that built the uh the treasure cities of Python and Ramses. We were the Hebrew boys that the Hebrew midwives had to try to kill them boys as soon as the boy came out. Just like they created abortion now today to get rid of the Hebrew boy. Because they know if you get up and start teaching this book, then it's going to stop the world from everything they're doing. It's going to stop their goal of Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving. It's going to hurt their finances when you tell them, listen, we supposed to be keeping the law, and commandments of this book. We supposed to be keeping the feast day, the holy days, because we understand that it represents the plan of salvation. Not what these churches tell them. Not what these churches tell them. These are whorehouses. Right over here. These are whorehouses. And it's today. Today is. These are whorehouses, sister. And I just got to tell you. No, no. I said 50 anymore. I said 30. 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 So, sister, if you get the word from us and they don't draw you, sister, it don't matter. I did my job, but I can't make you get the word. I just do, but I have to. Hold on. When Christ came in the flesh, hold on, what do you mean? What do you mean, sister? That's a whorehouse, sister. Anybody that got you going against the God of this book, that's a whorehouse. Where do you think the heart, the mother harlot come from and the daughters of the mother harlot? No, we talk, we, we're talking about spiritually. Well, you need to Israel, that, they, come on now, we ain't talking about they have sex in the church. You say a whore, well, that's talking, why I say We're it. talking about spiritually. Well, you need to stay on the stuff. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Like me. <laughs> we're talking about false doctrine, sister. Well, well, just say you don't, just ask me what I mean. No, you need don't to. Don't ask me what I mean, You know what? Sister. When you're doing this 
Isaiah 30 verse 8. Speak on people's level, Isaiah. they'll be able to comprehend. Okay, well, you know what you got to do, sister? That's if what, you want to get edification, right? You just got to listen. No, that's the what, book say when you go before the church, uh -huh. keep your foot. Yeah, so if you don't I'm understand, we say, just what, listen. And you understand as time goes forward. Every language, everyone heard it. And that was speaking in tongues. That's right. We ain't speaking in tongues. I'm speaking in your language. The Lord said us to somebody, not of a strange speech, sister. Isaiah 30 verse 8. Well, listen to what the book says. I'm going to write it before them at a table. Okay. We gonna we going to see what the book says about judgment. Isaiah 30 verse 8. I'm going to write it before them at a table. Lord, say, go write it before them at a table. He told us out there. Come on. And note it in a book. And note it in a book. Go ahead. That it may be for the time to come forever and ever. That it may be for the time to come forever and ever. Come on. That this is a rebellious people. That this is a rebellious people. Go ahead. Lying children. Lying children. Go ahead. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord. Go ahead. Will say to the seers. Will say to the seers. One who come out here to tell you this gospel. What they say. See not. See not. So don't tell me about them. Go ahead. And to the prophets. And to the prophets do what? Prophesy not unto us. Don't prophesy unto us. Right things. I got to tell you the right thing. That's a whole house. Stay up out of it. Go ahead read. Right things. Go ahead. Speak unto us. Smooth speak things. Speak unto us. What? Smooth thing. Speak until a smooth thing. I can't do that since I'm a man of the Lord. I got to tell you the truth. Go ahead and see. Prophesy the seat. Prophesy the seat. I can't tell you that. I got to tell you the truth. If you go in there, you got your murderer sitting in there. Because he going to cut you. Don't go in none of them. You need to come deal with the brothers in the Lord. We going to get the truth, sister. But see, this word of God is quick, sharpen it, powerful, sharpen it, any two S. Hey, you should, you should read Leviticus 23 and 1, too, because you're supposed to keep a holy convocation on the day. On the Sabbath. It's a That's commandment. Right. It's a commandment. Hey, same come in the eleven seat. Come here. Come here. Come on. Right come here. Come here. Same come in the eleven seat. Come here. Who? Huh? Eleven seat. Yeah. But thou be what is that? But thou be rude of speech. So the book say. No, I. But you in captivity, so you can't do it now. You in the captivity? You in captivity? Okay. What it say? But though I be rude of speech, what? Rude in speech. But though I be rude in speech, come on. Yet yeah, not in knowledge. Yeah, not in knowledge. So I might be rude in speech, but not in knowledge. I'm going to give you what you need. But the Sabbath day is Saturday. I'll start Friday evening. So not to Sunday. You know this, you, know this, you don't do it. You don't have to go to church. You don't have to go to nature. You, you still need to. But it's a, it's a complication. Oh, so what you keep your holy complication at your house? I Oh, so that's your holy convocation? Well, you, you, you might want to come holler at us, man, too. Hey, sister, my job as a watchman is to sound the alarm. If I don't sound the alarm, I'm going to get you to sound the alarm. Go ahead. 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 Man wrote, okay, not man wrote. Oh, okay. Second Peter 1 and 20. I want to say. I can't have done it. All right, sir. All right, take it. All right, you too, sir. This, this going to be an answer to us. 2 Peter 1 and 2. Yeah. Knowing this first, knowing this first what that no prophecy of the scripture, no prophecy of the scripture come is on. of any private interpretation. Any private interpretation. Go ahead. For the prophecy came not in the old time uh -huh. by the will of man. So it ain't, this book didn't come by the will of man. The prophets in the Old Testament, they, they didn't come by the will of them. Go ahead and read. But holy men of God, but holy men of God did what? Spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. But holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. So whatever the Lord told them to write, then they wrote. Give me 2 Kings 2 and 21. Uh, Daniel 2 and 21 right there. So man, we there with people, man. You know what I'm saying? At, at the end of the day, when they, when they came, when they can't get their uh, they beliefs across, and we hit them with the word of God, like she said, don't pull that Bible out on me. But they call themselves Christians. They don't want to deal with the book, man. I got a question. Go ahead. So how did we get the people? Uh, they, that was a they, question. They, so so what they, what they say now, you know, they say that the, the way the people are to line, they line up with star. You know, they say that, you know, the bricks or the, the the boulders and stuff that they used to build the pyramid, uh -huh. that they that cranes now they in modern times they pick those those up. Mm -hmm. So how do those get in place? Because if you look at the, at the how pyramid, they got in place? Yeah, if you look at the pyramid. When well, you're a slave, it don't matter. You just got to do what they say do. Yeah. Exodus one and eleven. Listen. But what they were saying is that it was they was built. Okay, man, they say that about us now. We supposed to be dead by now. Yeah. All this captivity we done been through. We've been slaves forever. And we still alive. Everybody else, whoever went through what we went through, man, should have been dead by now.
we are scattered in a land that, left, that does not belong to us. Our forefathers did not know this land. And we still alive. You understand? But let's see. Because to build. These people, man, these our forefathers, man, even us, were smart people, man. When I was young, how do you? When I was 20, before I left Florida, man, when I was what? Uh, I'm from 12, 13, young, young, man, all the way up, to, up until I left Florida. I saw my forefathers, man, building a house. No, no knowledge, nothing, man. They was pouring the cement slabs. No knowledge or nothing. Why you think they came and put us in the captivity over here? Because this came back to us being in Egypt. We built Egypt, Egypt up. And Egypt became a great nation because of us. We came over here, built this place up. This place became a great nation because of us. It's free labor. And the same thing you guys did for Egypt and built that place up, y'all come over here and build it up for us. So however they did it, it don't matter. It's just that we are great people. The Lord called us a great people. The Lord sanctified us and set us apart as a special people above all people on the face of this earth. So whatever task they put in front of us, we was able to accomplish that task. Exodus 1 and uh, Exodus 7. Y'all alright? We're going to wrap it up. We're going to wrap it up. Saturday. 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 Uh, like, some Saturday. Like, it's every, every other Saturday. Next Saturday, uh, it'll be at uh, 11 o'clock. 11 to 1 to 30. Exodus 1 and verse 11. Y'all got a car or something? No, I'm getting Yeah, number. Therefore, they, therefore they did uh, set over them taskmasters. Right, bring it up a little bit. Bring it up a little bit. Cause see, this talking about the pharaoh that came up after the other pharaoh died. I don't know if you know the story. Sit down. Sit. Sit down. It's okay. Go get the card out the car. Come back. Listen, bro. All right. So this is talking about the pharaoh that did not know the children of Israel. You ever heard the story about the the other pharaoh that had favor with Joseph? Okay, well, there was a pharaoh that had favor with Joseph, our forefather, that went down into the land of Egypt and his brother sold him. Okay? Okay, I know. He became governor, and this pharaoh found favor with him. So he made him governor of, over Egypt. Now, pharaoh died, Joseph died, all the Israelites died. So now after this, another pharaoh came up. Now let's pick it up from here. Next one. What did it say? Come on, let us deal wisely with them. Uh -huh. So the book say, Pharaoh said, come on, let us deal wisely with them. Go ahead. Lest they multiply. Lest they multiply. Go ahead. And it come to pass uh -huh. that when they're falling out any war. Right. Let's, uh, that when it come, let us deal wisely with them. Lest it come to pass when it falleth out any war. What's going to take place? They join also unto our enemies. They join also unto our enemies. So he had to come up with a plan. A Pharaoh had to come up with a way. Go ahead and read. They join also unto our enemies. They join all, uh, uh, let's take them out for they, they fall, they fall out anywhere, they join into our enemies. Go ahead. And fight against us. Fight against us, come on. And so get them up out of the land. So get them up out of the land, go ahead. Therefore they did set over them uh -huh. taskmasters. So what they did was they set over them taskmasters, which is slave masters. Go ahead. To afflict them uh -huh. with their burdens. So they afflicted the children of Israel with their burdens. What else they do, bro? And they built for Pharaoh they, treasure cities. They built for Pharaoh treasure cities. What are these treasure cities? Come on. Python, Python and, Ramses. and Ramses. We're the ones who built Python and Ramses. Not the Egyptians. We are the ones that built the lands. Go ahead and read. But the more they afflicted them. The more they afflicted them. Go ahead. The more they multiplied and grew. The more they multiplied and grew. Go ahead. And they were grieved because of the children of Israel. And they were grieved because of the children of Israel. Because they kept multiplying. Drop that. Give me Psalm 83 and 4. Psalm 83. What's up, man? How you doing? Pretty good. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. They have said, come uh -huh. and let us cut them off. Right, so these are the nations now. When we came to captivity or even before that time. It says, they have said, come and let us cut them off. Go ahead. From being a nation. From being a nation. Go ahead. That the nation of Israel may be no more in remembrance. That the nation of Israel may be no more in remembrance. So that's why when we come to you and you tell you Israelite according to the Bible, you don't know this because all the nations cut it off. Yeah. Cut you off. They told you African American. So you don't understand that you Israel according to the Bible. Go ahead and read. 
Well, they have consulted together uh -huh. with one consent. Go ahead. They've consulted together with one consent. Go ahead. They are confederate against thee. They are confederate against thee. Go ahead. The tabernacles of Edom. Uh -huh. So these are the nation. Edom, which are the people in the land today that call themselves Jews. This is the brother of us, Israel. And Esau and Jacob. Esau is the one that in, in the land that they saying he's your people. I mean, he's saying he's us. So, so sit down, okay. Nicole. It's still, it, yeah, all right, hold on one second. It's still a Saturday. Why are y'all playing on the Saturday? Josiah, Josiah, get on that truck, sir. Get on the truck, Josiah. Go all the way up and sit on there, because you know better. Dakota, what you what know What you better? saying now? I was going to say that. All right, get the code up. Who could be what race? So it's different races, right? Nationalities. That different nationalities. So, race, so what is the different nationalities? Because you said, uh, Jacob was our Jacob was our fourth. Okay. Yeah. And who are the Jews? Who are the Jews? Who are the Jews? The fake Jews. Jews. The fake Jews. The fake Jews. Okay. They Jewish. They wish they were the Jews. That's the twin brother of Jacob. The twin brother of Jacob. Yeah, the twin brother of Jacob. So, who the rest are? Oh, you're so, talking about the twin tribes? Yeah. Oh, the, the twin tribes of Israel, you got, you got, uh, you got Judah, Levi, Benjamin, Simeon, Reuben, Gad, Dan, um, Levi, Issachar, uh, 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 Naphtali. Who else? You said Benjamin, right? That's about 12 of them. Yeah, it's in the book, though. That's about 12 But all of them come out of Jacob. Okay. And they name got, Jacob's name got changed to Israel, so by his name being changed to Israel, all their sons became Israel also. They just took on the name of their father, which is Israel. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm saying, so who would they call uh, like Asian? Asian would come out of see the J family, which are Gentiles. Right. So like, like uh, Caucasian. Caucasian Gentiles. Okay. Right. They come out of. They come out of. The, uh, matter of fact, the Gentiles are the one that are in the rulership right now. That's why the Lord said He's not going to return until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. So once the Gentile rulership is up, then we're coming out of captivity. That's when the Lord's going to return. Okay. But their time is almost up. That's why they're trying to come with a new world order. Because they're trying to keep this kingdom. They're getting you prepared for the coming of the Lord. Every time they put out these new space, these uh, alien movies and stuff like that, you know, uh, fight for Los Angeles and all that, you know, get ready to fight the, the aliens when they return. All they're talking about is the Lord, man. Because that's the battle of Armageddon. When Christ gets back to the city. You know what I'm saying? So, all that. All that is really us. All us, that's us and the saints, you know, the saints who keep the law, statutes, and commandments. We're doing what we're supposed to do for so, the word. But they talking about with the mark of the demon. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you have the mark of the demon, uh -huh. then you'll be persecuted. Yeah. No, if you don't take the mark of the demon, you're going to be persecuted. I'm saying you're going to be persecuted by the people. I mean, if you refuse to take the mark of the demon, uh -huh. then they go, the people that do take the mark of the demon, they're going to be persecuted. Yeah, they're, 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 yeah. They're, 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 yeah, but the thing you gotta understand about that, bro, is that that's during the time when the Great Tribulation. The Lord has a place already set up for you to get to before the Great Tribulation, the tribulation. before it even starts. Okay. It's called the wilderness, the place of Satan. Okay. It's not even in effect yet, but as time goes on, as time starts getting close and close to the Great Tribulation, you're gonna start looking for, for the signs for you to flee and get up out of it. Just like he did during the time of just like he did during the time of our forefathers being in Egypt, he brought them out and sent them into the wilderness. The same thing will take place again. Okay. You understand? You going straight to the wilderness and you're going to sit there and the Lord going to come back to the wilderness. He's not going back to Israel first. He's coming back to the wilderness. And that's when you're going to deal with, you're going to plead first. First off, before we even get into the wilderness, okay, there's things that got to take place. You're going to see signs and different things that are, that are happening. Let's read. Matthew 24. You want to read it for yourself? I'll let you know my Bible. Yeah, I'll let you know my Bible. I mean, I believe what y'all saying. I'm just saying the reason why I ain't. Don't believe us. Okay. No, I'm saying because the word ain't gonna come back for it. That's right, right? No, it ain't gonna come back for it. But if you said it, it ain't gonna come back for it. Yeah, I'd rather you read it yourself. Yeah. Matthew 24, verse 24. Matthew 24, verse 24. Matthew 24, verse 24. Yeah, I'm still looking out. What are you going to do about it? Matthew Whitney? Let's start with the signs first. 
Jesus answered and said unto them, uh -huh. Take heed that no man deceive you. Right, so the first thing he said was, Take heed that no man deceive you. What, what are you at, 20 point what? 20 point five. You there? 20 point five? All right, go ahead, bro. For many shall come in my name, saying, right. I am Christ. Right, go ahead. And shall deceive many. Come on. And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. Right, so you're going to hear wars and rumors of wars. That's what's going on now. You hear wars and rumors of wars. You hear about the Israel trying to go hit Iran. Out. This has been going on for a while. Go ahead, read. See that ye be not troubled. See that ye be not troubled. Come on. For all these things must come to pass. Uh huh. But the end is not yet. Right, so the end is not yet. Go ahead. For nation shall rise against nation. Nation gonna rise against nation. Go and ahead. Kingdom against kingdom. Uh huh. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. What does it say, verse 8? All these are the beginning of sorrow. Right, so this is just the beginning. The famine, the pestilence, the earthquakes. That will be seven years. Right? No, no. The great tribulation on three and a half years. Three and a half. Three and a half, yeah. Where you get that from? I don't know. I I I, I probably got that come out of Rome. That come out of Rome. That come out of Rome. Rome tell you seven years. So by the time you wait, by the time by the time you know it, the Lord don't return. Yeah. <laughs> he done set foot on this earth, man. But now, so it say, then shall uh, all these are the beginning of sorrow. Go ahead, read. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, uh -huh. and shall kill you. Go ahead. And ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Come on. And then shall many be offended, uh -huh. and shall betray one another, Go ahead. and shall hate one another. Uh -huh. And many false prophets shall rise, and shall deceive many. So this is what's going on today. You gotta pay attention. It's a lot of false prophets that are rising now today. A lot of false prophets. They gonna have their churches open tomorrow. These are all the false prophets. I mean, say many false prophets gonna rise. One of the signs to see a false prophet is somebody that's doing opposite of what the Lord said. The Lord said, keep the Sabbath day. They're going to say, nah, we're going to worship on Sunday. The Lord said, the seventh day. They say, the first day. The Lord said, remember my death. They're going to say, nah, we're going to remember his birth on December 25th. These are false prophets. Yeah. Or antichrist. You understand? Go ahead and read. And because iniquity shall abound. Because iniquity shall abound. That means sin going to abound. A sin is going to be so great. What's going to take place, bro? And the love of many shall wax cold. Come on, a little bit. And the love of many shall wax cold. Go ahead. But he that shall endure unto the end. He that shall endure to the end. The end when Christ returns. What's going to take place? The same shall be saved. So that means you ain't saved right now, bro. You got to endure to the end. It say he that shall endure to he that endure to the end. The same shall be saved. So you got to make it to the end before you save, bro. Yeah. So so much people saying we saved right now. That's a lie. When you get saved, you get your immortal body because you saved from sin and death. That means you can't die no more. Then you save. Well, okay, so. Um... When, how, how do we make it to the, to the end? Like, because a physical body will make it to the end. It'll, it'll make it, it we'll, we'll read that. It'll make it, we'll show it. It's not gonna make it to, it's not gonna make it like, it's not gonna make it to, to the Father's kingdom. But as far as the end of this, this world, this, the, the way we know the world right now, it's still gonna be flesh and blood if Christ is gonna Yeah, so, I think it's still gonna be flesh and blood. Take a knife and cut ourselves and bleed. Yeah. And some of us will be immortals at the time also. But when the father get back, everybody gotta be immortals before he return. Okay. Because when he get back, there cannot be no flesh in Okay. Okay. I got I get that, but I so, so I'm just looking. So uh-huh. Um, okay. Uh, I'm saying so you know how we so black say you on the day like uh huh. The world of who's going on. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you not there no more, right? Right, right. So where are you? You in the grave. You in the grave. You in the grave. You sleep till you come wake you up. Until they wake you up. Right. So you're in the grave. But if you live now, like like say for instance, and this this cannot happen. It's impossible. The Lord cannot come back tomorrow because he has to go forth in his word. Okay? Just like you said his word won't come back for it. That's absolutely true. His word ain't gonna come back for it. But if he was to come back tomorrow, and you've been keeping the law, like me and his brother, we've been keeping the law steps in man. We done came upon the blood of Jesus. We looking for that body to change to an immortal. So at that time when Christ returned, that's when it says you're going to be changed in a moment in a twinkling of an eye. That's when you get your body at that time. If you've been, came on the blood of Jesus the right way, and you've been keeping the law steps and commandments, 
then you change it in time because your flesh cannot be a God. You can't be a God in the flesh. Now, the people who don't get changed, they still gonna be walking around here flesh and blood. Okay, so, um, uh, so it's not too late for me. No, no, not at all. Not at all. No, not at all. If it was too late, it wouldn't be no sense in us being out here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We'll be packing it up like, hey, whatever, whatever gonna happen. No, when them trumpets start blowing, no, get ready to turn, even when he get back, it's still gonna be time. But you don't wanna wait for that. You wanna get out of here before that tribulation starts. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's the goal to get out. Get out before the, the tribulation starts. You wanna have that knowledge to know what it's yeah. time to yeah. That's right, praise the Lord. Yeah, you don't want to be here, man, when that great tribulation starts. Because that Pope going to get three and a half years, man, to rule this whole world. And he's coming after the saints, man. We can read that to you. Yeah. Let's, let's finish seeing these signs. I know. What was that? We stopped at 15. 15? All right. 14, right? We stopped at 14. Yeah, we were 14. We were 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached uh -huh. in all the world for a witness unto all nations. Uh -huh. And then shall the end come. Right, so this is the gospel, man. We coming out here preaching to you what? The kingdom of God is at hand. This is what we preach. But it got to come by the mouth of the children of Israel. It got to come by the priests. It can't come by the other nation because the Lord didn't give it to them. So now we starting to get up. Now we starting to sound the gospel throughout the nation, throughout the whole world. It's not just, um, when I say earlier, it's not just in Atlanta. It's everywhere. Everybody's starting to realize, man, those, those are the Israelites according to the Bible. The Lord is the one that was dealing with them. So he said the gospel got to be preached in all the world. Then the end going to come. Now what's going to take place? 15, what is it? When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation. So when you see the abomination of desolation, which is the son of destruction, or which we know as the Pope of Rome. When you see the abomination of desolation, go ahead. Spoken of by Daniel the prophet. So, spoken of by Daniel the prophet. Go ahead. Stand in the holy Stand place. Stand in the holy place. Come on. Whoso read it, let him understand. Whoso read it, let him understand. So what Christ is saying right here, when you see the abomination of desolation standing in the holy place, that was spoken of by Daniel the prophet. Whoso read, let him understand. So right now he's telling you to go back to Daniel and read what Daniel, uh, what the dream that the Lord gave Daniel. Okay? That the Lord gave Daniel. When you see this come to pass, the dream that Daniel had, then something got to take place. What is that, bro? Wait, okay, so wait. Hold it. Before they, wait, stand in the holy place. Stand in the holy place. For him to stand in the holy place. I know what you're talking about. That's one of the signs. Uh -huh. For him to stand in the holy place, the holy place must be built. They said the holy place hasn't been built. It hasn't been built. Ain't been built. Been built. So, they get ready, though. Yeah. They get ready. Okay. Ain't been built yet. <laughs> well, you see them standing there. Yeah. Then you know. Right, right. They ain't been built yet, but they got all the, they got everything ready. They got ready. everything, they got the furniture. They got everything, everything ready, ready, man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. But they ain't I been said, built so yet. Shouldn't we be checking, like, shouldn't we, as a, a web people, you know, be checking on Yeah, we checking okay. at 24. Why you got me out here? Yeah, like, I know. Know. <laughs> that is yeah. almost getting ready. They, they get, man, they trying their best to get it together. They trying their best to start building that temple, man. But the Palestinians won't let them. I was listening to a brother last week, man. The Palestinians and the so-called Jews are gonna fight the Palestinians. The Palestinians want statehood. The Jews want to build a temple. So they're gonna come to a compromise. They're gonna tell them, listen, we'll let y'all become, we'll let the Palestinians, y'all want to become a state, y'all can become a state. Just let us build that temple. That's how they're gonna come to an agreement. When they say yeah, then that's when you gotta start watching. But before they even start building the temple, they gotta start sacrificing animals. When they start sacrificing animals, we can count down to the day that the Lord don't show up. You understand? But he only gave it to the he only gave it to the children of Israel, man. Alright? So yeah, go ahead, go ahead. people don't want knowledge, man. Hey, go. You know what I mean? People don't want knowledge. So therefore, how other people are gonna know when the sign when it's time to preach? Right, right. Oh, you gotta seek out his word. That's it. Oh, yeah. That's all this on here. These right. babies. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my god. All that stuff that was going on. Uh, all the wars that was going on over sea. That's all the different uh, effects that are happening to those children. That baby on fire. What is that right now? Oh, that's just hands. Oh my God, these are all the way. It's real, man. And the Lord called it. He called this thing before. I'm saying I see it a little better. Oh yeah, praise the Lord, man. 
how can you learn without a preacher, man? How can a preacher mess you sick, man? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we come out here, man, we got you, man. We ain't gonna, we're not like those other preachers, man. We don't get paid for this, we don't tell. We just come out here, man, because the Lord moved us through it, man. Alright. We've been doing it, what? Going about three years now? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Coming out preaching the gospel, man. They try to stop us up here at Union City. So we go other places, man, you know, but we just happen to see it out here packed today. And we just like, hey, instead of us riding yeah. past our own community, we might want to post that right here. You know what I'm saying? But where we at? So when you therefore shall see the abomination and desolation spoken of by Daniel's prophet standing in the holy place, you shall read it better and understand. So you got to go in and get understanding. But right after this, verse 16, once you see him stand in the holy place, something got to happen. What is that? And let them which be in Judea uh -huh. flee into the mountain. So those that are in Judea flee into the mountain. That means run. If there's a rapture, why they can't wait to get caught up? Because there ain't no rapture. That's right. a lie. He say flee into the mountain. Uh -huh. Go ahead and read let him which is on the housetop uh -huh. not come down to take oh, yeah. anything out of the out of his house. Right, so this is how urgent this is. He said, let him who's on the housetop, don't let him come down to take anything out of the house. This is urgent. Wait, so what is so what is on the housetop? Right, in other words, whatever you're doing, you need to run. Don't try to come get anything. Uh -huh. Don't try to come, don't try to call your girl and be like, hey, uh, I gotta come back to the house and get you. No, you need to flee. You should already be prepared for that. Matter of fact, during the time when this get ready to go down, she need to be with you everywhere you move. Every time you take a step, she need to be taking a step with you. Cause as soon as he's standing in that temple, you need to be out of there. Where we? Where we? Well, so where we going? Right? That's a little bit. We got. We gotta give you some time, cause that's you know what we going to. I give you. Yeah, let's go to Revelation uh, 12. Right I give it to you, but. It's a, it's a whole, we got, our brother got lessons, like whole lessons to get real understanding. Like how you going to flee, how you going to get out, how the Lord going to make the way, all that. So I, I was just thinking, I don't know what you mean about Oh, no, no, but what he's saying is those who in Judea, Judea is over there in yeah, that area. Oh, yeah. They're in Jerusalem, get into the mountains. But the people who are in captivity here are all around the world and know the law, statutes, and commandments. They need to flee over to that way. To, to the wilderness. So for us, we'll be fleeing to the east. Toward toward Savannah. Getting straight to the east. And then the Lord will have things already set up for us to get out. You know what I'm saying? But that's what that is, man. You know what I'm saying? So, but everybody, like say friends, you might have somebody in in Greece. Wherever he had in Greece, he gotta get he gotta get there. No, because he may not be in the east. He might be, he might have to go west, but he gotta get to the wilderness. The wilderness is right outside of Israel. So wherever you at, us for here, uh, for us here in America, we got to get to the east. The east for us is going towards the roof. Okay? Revelation 12, man. Let's go see. So, so how, how y'all going to get to the man. Because it's a set time. Okay. It's a set time. It's a set time. And we're going to show you that. Isaiah, uh, Revelation 12. Revelation 12, you know? Revelation 12. Huh? Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's right, man. That's right, Revelation 12. It says, and there appeared a great wonder in heaven, uh -huh. a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, uh -huh. and upon her head a crown of 12 stars. Mm -hmm. And she being with child cried, travailing in birth and pain to be delivered. Right, so. 12 stars, the moon and the sun, this is uh, this is Jacob and the mother, uh, uh, Rebecca, and the, the 12 stars are the 12 tribes of Israel. All right? So now we're talking about this woman. She's referred to as, uh, as a woman, right? So drop down to verse 5. And she brought... Right. And she brought forth the man child. And she brought forth the man child. That man child is Christ that she brought forth. Go ahead. Who was the rule of all... Who, who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. Right, so this is a long prophecy because Jesus is going to rule all nations with a rod of iron when he returns. Go ahead. And a child was caught up unto uh -huh. God. That child was caught up unto God. Go ahead. And to his throne. Go ahead. And the woman fled into the wilderness. And the woman fled into the wilderness. So now you get the long prophecy. You getting the end of this thing. Now, you because this is a long prophecy. It says, and the woman fled into the wilderness. This is what we, this is talking about. Us. The children of Israel, not just physically, but also spiritually. Gotta keep it lost there forever. We're gonna flee into the wilderness during the time that abomination of desolation stand in the holy place. Go ahead and read. 
where she has a, a place prepared for God. Where she has a place prepared for God. Go ahead. They, they should feed huh? her there a thousand two hundred and three score days. Right, so when we get to the wilderness, the Lord got a place prepared for us that they're going to feed us one thousand two hundred and three score days. One score is twenty, two score is thirty, um, I mean forty, three score is sixty, one thousand two hundred three score days. That's twelve hundred sixty days, which is three and a half years. Go ahead and read. We'll put this up and start. Uh, come start and, there was, and there was war in heaven. And there was war in heaven. So now we're going back to the beginning. Go ahead. There was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. Go ahead. And the dragon fought and his angels. And the dragon fought and his angels. Go ahead. And prevailed not. And prevailed not. Come on. Neither was there a place found anymore in heaven. Neither was there a place found anymore in heaven. Go and ahead. And the great dragon was cast out. Uh -huh. That old serpent called the devil and, that, and Satan. Right. Which deceived the whole world. Right. So Satan was cast out. That he was old. cast out into the earth. He was cast out into the earth. And his uh -huh. angels were cast out with him. And his angels were cast out with him. Go ahead. And I heard a loud voice uh -huh. saying in heaven, uh -huh. Now is come salvation Go ahead. and strength and the kingdom of our God uh -huh. and the power of Christ. Go ahead. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down. Right. So anyway, I wanted you to read the part about, you know, about the woman fl uh, fleeing into the wilderness. And that's during the time for 1,260 days, 42 months. Uh, uh, three and a half years. Uh, what is it? Forty-two months, three and a half years. The one thousand two hundred sixty days. But that's during the time of the abomination desolation. We gonna hopefully be out here before that time. You get caught, your faith really gonna be tried. But you got my number. You can run the party number for your bounce. My phone is in trouble. You got um, internet at home? Yeah. Oh, you need to get on this wilderness tonight. Yeah. You need to watch it tonight. What's your number? Sorry, real my phone ain't on right now, but like, I can see the phone. Okay. Yeah, I can see the phone. Yeah. Okay. You do. I mean, all y'all. 770.